Frustration is still flowing for South Suburban residents who thought that they would see better days years ago. Tonight, WGN Investigates checks in on the progress of lead remediation for homeowners in University Park. I keep the extra water to have for usage. Patients ran dry a long time ago for Ruth Redmond because of what she has to go through to get a glass of water in her home of almost 20 years. I felt that I was being deceived as a resident. That interview was in September of 2019, three years ago. All this time later, she's still using bottled water supplied by University Park's private water provider, Aqua Illinois. She got back in touch with us, hoping to unclog the system. Breathtaking, for lack of a better word, because I've had to adapt to a new way of cooking, a new way of living. So you're kind of holding it and pouring it over food to wash. It has been a life-changing ordeal. Ruth has heavy plastic jugs of water all over her house. On the kitchen table, the kitchen counter, and in the garage. Some she buys for drinking, the rest she gets free of charge from Aqua. 12 gallons of water a week to cook with, drink with, brush your teeth with. Why go to such lengths? Well, she's afraid of the brain damaging lead that's plagued the water since Aqua switched its water supply from community wells to the Kankakee River in 2018. Early on, the company CEO explained how it happened in the process of ridding the water of iron. And something about the way that we changed our process, something about the treatment, the chemistry, and when we switched our water source, it caused the protective coating inside the pipes in the home to be removed, exposing the lead to the water. The company said it consulted with experts beforehand and said the problem couldn't have been predicted. 1,500 of the village's 7,900 residents in homes mostly built prior to the late 1980s were put into a do not consume advisory. There is no safe amount of lead to consume, but the EPA requires action when 15 parts per billion are detected in at least 10% of the samples. WGN Investigates received data from the Illinois EPA that included samples taken from the beginning of 2022. It showed two dozen homes above the actionable level, some in the last six months as high as 76, 97, even one spike at 1,100. This is related to the science and crumbling old infrastructure as around Illinois. University Park's mayor took office just days before the water crisis broke. He says after all this time, there is progress. We've been battling day in and day out, ensuring that our residents have the best access to clean and healthy drinking water. So do you feel that University Park is there now? I'm not gonna say we're all the way there yet, but we're going in the good direction. Aqua and the Illinois EPA routinely test the water for lead. Aqua says it has now met the federal benchmark for two consecutive six-month periods between July and December of 2021 and January through June of this year. That means 90% of the tested homes were under the 15 parts per billion. In a statement to WGN Investigates, Aqua wrote, the data validate that our treatment efforts have been effective and that for a full year, overall water quality in University Park achieved the same benchmark for water quality that is required for all other water systems across the country. That said, Mayor Rudez, whose own home is on the advisory, says he still uses bottled water, which begs the question, if it's better, why is the bottled water still needed? The mayor says it's part of a court order, not the test results. It has nothing to do with the quality of the water. It's what the courts are making Aqua do. And he, like Ruth, who's on a retired fixed income, feels the insult added to injury by still having to pay high water bills. Are you tempted at times when you're paying that water bill to say, you know what, I'm not going to pay that this month. All the time, all the time. And it has gotten to times where I could not pay it. Ruth can't help but wonder if a culture bias slowed the pace. I do kind of feel that way sometime, and I really hate to think like that because of this area is predominantly African-American. And I hate to feel that because of race, you're kind of pushing the problem along. I think that uh, a lot of this has to do with the type of community that we're dealing with. Uh, it's uh, a poor community. 
Uh, we've seen this now around the country, Jackson, Mississippi, uh, Flint, Michigan, now the University Park. And uh, it's just not getting the attention, I think, that it deserves. Tom Zimmerman is leading the class action lawsuit on behalf of the affected residents. While the lawsuit moves through the discovery phase, Ruth has little interest in a lawsuit. She just wants a sense of trust back. If it's taken this long, I still probably wouldn't trust it when you say it's fixed because it's taken so long. To be honest with you, it's going to take some time for the residents to actually get the trust, to trust the water company. And it's not going to happen overnight. So far, Ruth says neither she nor her adult son have tested positive for lead in their blood. The mayor hopes that there will be an established process for any residents who may develop health problems down the road. By the way, the Illinois EPA referred me to the Attorney General's office, which is still in litigation with Aqua Illinois. And by the end of September, Aqua says it provided residents with one and a half million gallons of bottled water as it awaits another round of testing.